Hey everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino, back again for my lovely post-market wrap-up. Today, Tuesday, June 12th, 2018. So, uh, well, we're down to the wire, um, no doubt about it. Tomorrow, we will be getting a rate hike. Um... I know some of you are still on the opposite side of that. As a matter of fact, some of you who wrote to me today told me that we're going to get, this is crazy, a 50 um, basis point rate hike. Anything is possible. I don't think so. Um, but let, let me put a few things together here before tomorrow. Um, and in, in the light of this... Uh, new found inflation that we just heard about today you know the Fed has overshot their target of 2% by a long shot alright um, here, here's what the Federal Reserve is trying to do again it's about look they're pulling the strings they in many ways are the puppet masters and we just kind of let we just allow this to occur our politicians allow this to occur um, I'll, I'll tell you this, the biggest mistake that we have ever made um, as, as, as a country was leaving the sound money system and adopting the debt-based economic model run by the central banks which are owned by the biggest banks on earth. <laughs> you all know that. The Federal Reserve is no more federal than Federal Express, not part of the government. Um, but that's neither here nor there. So let, let's talk about what the Fed wants to do here. So the Fed wants to create inflation. Why would they want to do that? Why do they want to create it? Why, why did they have a 2% target, which they have now overshot by a, a mile? Uh, and why do they want more of this, this, despite the fact that it's going to hurt you? They want you to reach deeper into your pocket um, period. They want you to pay more for everything. Now, here is what their plan is, their grand plan. If the Fed can create meaningful inflation, all right, people are going to want to dump their dollars that they're borrowing, more than likely. Most people have a negative net worth in this country. Um, sooner than later, because again, if they hold on to those dollars longer, those dollars will lose purchasing power as inflation creeps up. So they want to create an environment where people are going to spend more, borrow more, spend more, borrow more, spend more. What will that do? Well, it'll enrich the corporations further while it hurts you, unless you're a shareholder of one of these corporations that are now buying back shares of their own stock. Uh, like we've never seen in history. You understand? This is what they're trying to do. They want to force you into debt slavery, more so than you may be already, which is a real shame, and they want you to spend before those dollars continue to lose more value. Same thing. It's, it, it, we've seen this before, over and over and over again. Now, I want you to keep this in mind. It's something I've been covering for a long time. Nobody else is really talking about it. And I hate to talk about it. That red line in the sand with regard to the 10-year yield. Speaking of that, bonds didn't do too much today. The whole entire market didn't do too much today. Um, dollar was flat. You know what? I don't even know what metals did today, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I don't even care. You know how the derivative price works? It's meaningless as far as I'm concerned. Um, so, understanding that we have this red line, um, which is about 3.1, the Fed is going to be forced, forced to kill the dollar, to suppress its value, to get more inflation moving. You understand? The weaker they can push that dollar, the more inflation they can create, the further out they can push that red line in the sand. All right? I've covered this before, and this is exactly what they're going to do. Um, 
So what you can expect moving forward here is the dollar, I mean, it's going to fluctuate, but the trend is going to continue lower. The Fed wants to f uh, push inflation higher. They already have all the bills out there that you can imagine. So they're expecting this to creep up. You're going to have to shell out more of those weaker dollars to buy everything, even shares of stock. So you can understand, as long as they keep that red line with regard to the 10-year in a, in a range compensatory with dollar weakness, you understand? Stocks have the potential to continue up. Everything has the potential to continue to inflate in this environment. Dollar loses purchasing power. It takes more of those weaker dollars to buy everything. Um, it's crazy, but this is what the Fed is going to do. Not what they want to do. This is what they are going to do. And, and, and you know this if you follow my work. Nobody, I don't care who you want to talk to, has called the Fed better than me for all of these years. Uh, I've called it even better than Steve Leisman. Believe it or not. Can you believe that I did that? Well, uh, it's true. Anyway, so I hope this has put a perspective on how this is going to work and why you, we're going to see more inflation, why we have the potential here uh, for people to spend more of these dollars as inf inflation creeps up, enriching the corporations further while you get hurt. That's just it. That's the way it is. It's, it's, it's kind of a very evil plan, but this, this should not surprise you. This is the way it is. Uh, no one's going to do anything about it. Forget about any politician or even our president stepping in. Nope. It's all a grand scheme, and I hope I have outlined this for you so you know exactly what to expect. Now, in the event that I am wrong, <laughs> a lot of you think I am, and the Fed does not raise rates tomorrow, well, we'll, we'll address that at that moment. Maybe I'll, I'll put a little dunce cap on myself or something. I, I don't know. I don't think I'm wrong here, but uh, I very well could be. All right, with that said, I'll see you in the morning. And uh, think about these things that I have put together for you. Does it make sense to you? Do you believe... The Fed is going to create more inflation, so you spend more qu quicker as the dollar continues to lose value, so cash moves into these corporations, so cash, uh, you know, finds its way into an inflated stock market, of course. That's exactly what's going to happen as long as they can control, and I believe that they can now, um, that, that red line in the sand. And, and, and pushing the value of the dollar lower to create more inflation, period. I'm going to shut up, kind of long-winded, see you in the morning, over and out.